Hello to all on this glorious Thursday, Marie speaking. The sun is finally out and um, what I want to speak to you about today is damage control and management of that, which I think is very important because we all face crises in our life and there can be times where things happen that you can't control, that is out of your control. But what you can do is that you can try and control yourself you can be proactive or at least reactive in how you handle things. Try not to panic, stay calm, do whatever you can do. Communicate with the people you need to communicate uh, with both professionally, but also uh, privately and do what you, what you need to do. Uh, hopefully if you're on a uh, companionship, partnership, uh, marriage, whatever you call it, uh, that you have a, a good partner there. If not, then you can always think of <laughs> doing something else later. But I just want to say that uh, we have handled the situation here very well. We had a big uh, crisis this weekend. Um, I am not going to go into what's going on right now. I can't do that right now. I will do at some point. I can't do now. Don't ask me. But it is handled, all Pakistanding. And um, it's been some long days and long nights, but um, we have been very lucky that we have received the help that we needed uh, more or less the time we needed it and we've done exactly what we should do. I'm actually very proud of that and I'm very proud of how my husband and I have handled it and my children. And yeah, the sun is finally out, spring is on its way, birds are singing, daffodils out, flowers out and it will be fine again. Everything will be worked out somehow, um, at least from our part. Um, we have to rejoice of what we have as well and think positive and act. You can never sit down and cry when things uh, go over your head. And, and sometimes I think what is frustrating is that if situations happen to you and not for you and um, you feel that you lose control, that's where it can be very, very frustrating because we live in a world where we like to be in control, we like to be in charge, we like to know what's going on. And, and when you then get some uncertainties, and it can also be if people are sick, um, or when, for instance, when we first got William, we didn't know he had Down syndrome. And that really took us off our feet for, mom for moments. It took us off our feet for three months. He was very, very sick to begin with. Um, the first couple of weeks was, were very, very frightening, very, very scary in a whole different level um, as a mother. And and that helped to try to read as much as possible. We got um, um, a friend of mine had a Down syndrome child already. Got help. I got help from other people. I'm going to tell you that. That's a long, long story. I'm going to tell that long point. Point. But to get that help and to try and be try and work together, my husband and I, um, we were not ashamed or saddened about having William, but we were afraid about the future for him at that point. Um, because we were completely taken off tracks, taken off tracks. Look at the sun, look at the sun. Oh, it's so nice. I feel it on my back right now. Whew. I slept last night. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Um, the sun will shine again, no matter where you are, no matter how, but work for it. Um, I had one time in my life where with another kind of tsunami of events that rolled over me where I had to give up. And that was bloody hard, that was bloody hard. I did try to fight, but I, I couldn't in the end uh, withstand it. And I'll never ever have that again. I'll do anything to prevent that from happening again. But um, do use every single resource you have. Um, don't give up. There's always somebody out there that can help you. Um, make sure that you have the friends that are closest to heart, that are there when it matters, are there when it matters. And have a cup of tea as well. <laughs> I think today I'll have a cup of coffee. I don't drink right a lot at all, but uh, I think three glasses of champagne in a year or something, that's my sort of level. Um, <laughs> I, I think I do with a ginger beer or something. I actually don't know if the alcoholic problem not alcoholic. <laughs> I just think it is. Mojito. Okay, mojito. I used to like a little mojito once in a while. Um, but I think a cup of coffee will be uh, with the in it for me tonight, today, and then I will appreciate sunshine, and I will appreciate um, uh, the people that came out to help us this weekend, and I have people working out there and something right now, 
uh, that have just been incredible. They came yesterday full speed and doing exactly what they're supposed to do. We had a great dialogue with them. Um, wow. Um, and a thing that we thought might take six months to take will be done much, much quicker. Um, we still have a lot of dialogue with some other people we need to do in a couple of days time, but all pack standing, um, still standing. Um, uh, and we are lucky for that. We are lucky for that, but it has been a, a lot of work from, from now. Whatever rolls over your life, whatever happens, keep, keep fighting, keep working. And sometimes when I had to, to, to quit that thing, I had to quit back then and I couldn't, I couldn't fight for anymore. Years later, something even better happened to me. So sometimes we need to learn life lessons the hard way in order to move forward even stronger. And perhaps be more grateful for what we have. Um, perhaps appreciate things a bit more. I appreciate my uh, my children and my husband. Uh, my husband was my rock right now, and my children have been absolutely incredible. Um, absolutely, they were just did everything right, and I'm really really proud of them because you only know a person's uh, character in time of crisis. Uh, it's easy enough to have fun in the sunshine, but. Uh, when the thunder clouds are coming and, and, and lightning hits you, that's where you your character gets tested. And um, you know what? We stepped up to the plate. We stepped up to it. We did what we could do. And I'm still doing a little bit more. There's more work ahead of us right now. Um, we will be fine. We will survive. And um, tally on. Carry on. Just don't be defeated okay being defeated is a choice as well and and i've had to choose it once but i'll never choose it twice we we won't do that we we rise we rise like but phoenix of the ashes uh you have to move forward that's old park uh, it's so nice lots of things to do this year lots and lots of projects uh we just need a little time out right now um i hope i'll be back very soon um, whether it be next week or not, probably uh, might be later this week. I can't guarantee you. Uh, I still have a lot on my plate right now uh, that I need to do physically right now. But we're here and stay safe, stay rest assured that, <laughs> that we're fighting for what we have. Um, but you know, it can be good to fight, it can be good not to get everything handed on a plate for you. So Whatever, whatever it is in life. Again, we all go through crises. All go through it. Use whatever you have and don't be shy um, to reach out and, and, and get the uh, appropriate help. I'm just going a little bit backwards so you can see Old Park still standing. Very, very nice. So, yeah. Old Park was built on, uh, on rock. So, happy about that right now. So, it'll all be fine. I can hear the birds. Can you hear them? I don't know if you can see the squirrels in the, de -de -de -de, in the tree behind me. They've been out playing again all morning. You know, I famously cannot photograph squirrels. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. I absolutely love squirrels. We have so many running around the road. So also if you um, drive on, on the other white, be very, very careful. It is the Red Squirrel Island. And um, uh, I've said it before, you actually get fined if you import a gray squirrel or you fail to report a gray squirrel. It used to be, I think still is, you can get up to a thousand pounds fine. They do not want gray squirrels on the island. And um, and yeah, we have, uh, I, this morning, I'm not joking, I counted seven squirrels on the roads. <laughs> seven from here to Vetnor. It's uh, what, four miles, couple, uh, four kilometers, sorry, a couple of miles, a um, uh, very short distance. Um, my son and I, I have to drive. I drove him to the bus stop, and it's um, uh, it was around what eight o'clock in the morning or something. They were still very active, and but they're so cute, you know, little fluffy, fluffy tails and fluffy buffy bunny buddies. There, I'm so fascinated. I'm I'm the clumsy person myself, and um, to see them <laughs> jump around and everything. But my point is, damage control when things happen. Try again if you can't be in control of all the external factors, then try and be in control of what you can be in control of. You choose in here to 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 and to 
panic or be scared or, or anything and that's also okay but just as long as you 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 work and you keep become a little choo-choo train of of emotion and motion and keep working and 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 whatever you have to do takes grit and guts <laughs> but just do it stay safe much love to everyone from me i'll be back as soon as i can where i don't i honestly don't know if that's tomorrow or next week give me a little break here um but i will be back and we will be back with much more just give me a little breathing space and my cup of coffee right now much love to all of you bye bye